Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to a new update from RRG Research for Monday 9th of May. My name is Trevor Neal and I am presenting to you from uh, our offices in London. Together with my partner Julius de Campanar, the creator of Relative Rotation Graphs, we run RRG Research BV. I'm recording this on Friday the 6th of May 2022 at 9.27 in the morning. This week we'll be following up on the UK 100, uh, the ASX 200 in Australia and the Hong Kong HSI index we covered last week and look at messages from the Nikkei but also today we will look at assets with commodities still dominating and for the first time we will look at the G7 currencies versus the US dollar using RRG. Let us start with a global roundup. The relative rotation graphs you can see here uh, shows the rotation for a major group of world uh, stock market indices versus the MSCI world index in the middle here. We have some clear messages from the current weekly RRG chart. The heavyweight stock index, the S&P, is um, is weak overall, but is moving closely with the RRG benchmark, which is, of course, the MXCI world. We see how even the drifting Nikkei 225 is moving in a northeasterly trajectory. It's gaining both JDK-RS ratio and JDK-RS uh, momentum. With its long tail that we see here, this means that the force of the move is strong. The Hang Seng is still deep in the uh, lagging quadrant and furthest to the left here. Global indices are weak uh, overall. In this context, uh, the UK index might be the most interesting thing if it can make its breakout, which we'll look at in a moment. The ASX 200 um, is also in a relatively good position and heading in a the right direction, northeasterly, gaining both in RS ratio and RS momentum, and with a long tail there, it's doing so with great speed. They, and as we've already said, the HSI is suffering badly on a relative and absolute basis. Now, when we zoom into the daily time frame, we find the UK um, index is inside and further to the right in the leading quadrant and pointing in, well, just about pointing in the northeasterly direction. The ASX, the, uh, the Australian index, is also far to the right and uh, slightly pointing in a southerly direction, but nothing to worry about here in the leading quadrant. So together, the weekly and the daily um, RRG show a relatively strong position for the UKX, which was stalling, but is not yet threatening. The, in the daily and the weekly uh, RRGs, the Nikkei is confirming its stronger long-term move uh, in this shorter time frame. The Hensing is having a bounce inside the longer-term weakness. Now, we're going to look at the uh, UKX in more detail now, but let's start for context by looking at the monthly uh, charts. So each bar here is, is a month. We can see how it uh, moves very impressively uh, from its 2020 low, powered up into this heavy area of resistance and pushed through very, very hard towards the top of it. The MACD shows uh, there's great power still in, the, in this move. This is a, a decisive advance through, the, through this range and really a very impressive one too. Um, through the resistance, of course, there is blue sky above. So it's, in test, it's testing very impressively in this uh, time frame um, a very significant resistance point, which could be just the prelude for a breakout. But let's go to a lower time frame first. Zooming to the daily time frame, we see a struggle with the high of February at uh, 76.83. Since last week, it powered up and then as edge back from this little bit of a resistance at 7600 here. The RSI you can see has had some declining highs so as it struggles with this um, resistance level. 
Well, it has got the strong uptrend behind it. It's knocking on the door of the top of a significant long-term resistance. Now let's take a look at assets. There's a very stark message from the asset class performance. Here we have a um, histogram of uh, the major asset classes and uh, to the right are our performance and the biggest of course is Brent crude oil you can see there and then CRB commodities index which we're going to look at in more detail in a moment um, also and the dollar index but everything else is on the left so stock indices uh, uh, soft commodities bonds all forms of uh, bonds emerging market bonds and, and uh, uh, corporate bonds and uh, gold as well on, on the left underperforming up to 20% underperformance so far this year uh, the gray is the, the performance last year so we see uh, really a big switch around here although commodities remain in focus now let's look at this message in the RRG chart and we can see here this is the CRB uh, index of, uh, of the all the largest uh, US commodity futures markets and uh, here are the individual markets here, here you can see that the leading quadrant is dominated by energy and so the in this uh, commodities we've got not only the, the, the crude oil but in fact particularly uh, the uh, the products um, the energy products rather than the Brent and the WTI crude itself are leading this charge and in the bottom left crowded in the bottom left la lagging quadrant are the uh, soft commodities coffee and sugar um, in there and um, and cotton and other uh, commodities as well only wheat is of, of the grains is in this uh, leading quadrant here so we've got a very clear strong message in the core now commodities strong energy in particular but also the US dollar very strong indeed I look at this here now this is the US dollar in the middle here now there's nothing at all on in the leading or the weakening quadrant nothing above 100 here on the JDK RS ratio everything's on the left in fact everything except uh, the yen is in the lagging quadrant so this dominant message of the the situation seems stagnant the dollar is king it looks like remaining king and everything else looks weak but it will end of course and you'll see it first in the RRG chart I hope you found today's session interesting we've broadened it out a little bit today uh, thank you for watching uh, this is Trevor Neal of RRG Research for CMC Markets may the trend be with you